Parks and closures at Zion National Park after recent rockfalls. Hikers were injured last month. The meteorologist Alana Brophy explains why rocks would move without any precipitation to trigger them. Indefinite closures of shuttle bus stops and trails. It's what happens after a major rockfall, and many folks don't associate incidents like this with clear skies and plenty of sunshine. Breathtaking towers and sandstone scenery. That's how we get Zion today is by rockfalls. But travelers are maneuvering a few closures these days after a major rockfall injured multiple hikers. There's a rockfall back there at Weeping Rock, I believe it is. So that stop on the uh, shuttle tour is not open. So, so sad, can't go there. That Facebook video shows clear skies, and many think in order for a fall like that to occur, rain or snow has to loosen things up. This year was more of a non-soon as opposed to a monsoon, but that does happen at Zion during wet weather. It's common with the Navajo sandstone, with it being so porous, that precipitation, water moisture will get into the sandstone. The freeze-thaw cycle is often behind winter rockfalls, but that's only one type of weathering. Weathering breaks down rocks into bits. There are different types, the wind and erosion, precipitation, and commonly in Utah's southwest desert, thermal stress. So with thermal expansion or weathering, really, you're going to have the elements really play a factor into what happens with the exposed minerals. Thermal expansion also happens when those rocks are repeatedly heated by the sun and weaken. Temperature swings can easily take their toll. The pattern of hot and dry during the day and very cool overnight, um, sound familiar, Zion, leads to rock crumbling and flaking. The Utah Geological Survey received special permission to shoot drone video near the rockfall so Zion Park Rangers can decide when to reopen those closed trails. A small rockfall will cause a closure of a few days. With a larger rockfall, it causes a longer wait time for that, and you just want, want things to settle before you can reopen it. For the latest Zion National Park trail closures or for weather impacting the park, you can head to our website, abc4.com. Reporting in Springdale, I'm Alana Brophy, ABC4 News. Federal judge has rejected the Trump administration's request to dismiss lawsuits challenging the constitutionality of downsizing two monuments 